So I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here with the Xiaomi.eu MIUI ROM installed on the, on the device. And I wanted to create a video to show you how to use the built-in updater to install an update. But while trying to create that tutorial, I ran into an issue. So instead, I will show you how to bypass that issue in case you ever come across it. So the Xiaomi.eu ROM is very popular among Xiaomi customers as it gives you a global version of the Chinese MIUI ROM while also deep loading a lot of the Chinese services and fixing a number of bugs that have been caught by the community. Now normally you would update this by going into settings, going to my device, and then tapping the MIUI version up here at the top. Then you would tap on check, and then it would check the servers to find out if there's a new version of MIUI that you can download. As of right now, this device has the Xiaomi.eu version of MIUI version 10.2.8, but as we can see here, version 10.2.10 .10 is currently available. However, whenever I try to download this, I'm told that I am either up to date or that there is a server issue. And that it, it then instructs you to go to Xiaomi.eu for the new version. So going through the forums, I noticed one person recommend that you can actually long press this download button. They said to wait more than 15 seconds and then it would initiate a download. Now, however, as you can see, that is not doing anything on this device. And in the thread with this um, with this suggestion, there were also another a number of other people that also had issues using this long press method as just like you can see here, and nothing happens. So instead, we have to actually go in and manually download the next update for your device and download it to the to the device you want to update. Again, I'm using the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here as the example, but this will work for any device running a Xiaomi.eu ROM. Once you have downloaded the new update, you can see 10.2.10 .10 for the Note 7 has been downloaded. We're going to still stay in this updater though, but we're just going to tap the three dot menu button up here. And then we're gonna tap on the choose update package. And then we're gonna to browse to wherever we downloaded this file. I downloaded it to the regular download folder. Again, as you can see right here, 10.2.10. .10. So we just need to select it and then tap on okay. We see this note here at the bottom, just tap on OK. And then we get asked, are you sure we want to continue? So we're just going to go ahead and tap on the yes option right here. And you see the phone is going to reboot. We are taken into TWRP. And the update is going to run all automatically by itself.
So I could be wrong, but it seems like what we're doing is we are just doing what is known as a dirty flash of this new ROM on top of our current ROM. Again, I could be wrong, so it's possible that you could just download this latest version of Xiaomi.eu's MIUI, boot into TWRP, and then just manually flash it from your internal storage. Again, I could be wrong, but as we can see here, all we have done is booted into TWRP and we have started the install process of this update. We just need to be patient during this install process. And as you can see, once it has finished the install, it is going to reboot on its own. And we're going to be taken right back into the Android operating system, the Xiaomi.eu version of MIUI. And if everything went smoothly, which we didn't see any errors, then we should be on the 10.2.10 version of this ROM. As you can saw, that first boot cycle took a little bit longer than normal. So again, as I said, just be patient. And now we're going to jump into our settings. And as you can see, now we are on version 10.2.10 of MIUI the xiaomi.e version of MIUI. So if you are getting that error when, when you try to use the built-in updater for xiaomi.eu, you just need to manually download the firmware file to the device and then install it just as I showed you. Now, if in the full tutorial, I'm gonna have a link to the page where you can download these updates manually. You just need to sift through the list of devices and find your device in the list.